Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, in this video, we're going to put the liners in and uh, show you the steps of that. Right now, I'm just going to do the two, and then I'll bring you back for the third one and uh, the steps I take to put them in. And the block for the first liner. So I got the O rings in there, and um, I'm just going to install that one and then I'll bring you back for the last one. Well I've got the liners in, uh, two of the liners and we'll put the third one in. So these are brand new connecting rod bearings and they're 20 thou under. So, nice pretty new bearings. Soft hammer just to set them. Lots of lube. See if I can set you down here in a bird's eye view. That's a bit too close. I've dried out the liner, um, the o-ring lands and everything here so they're nice and dry. And then, I'll just insert the top one first. And this is a wet liner as the coolant is up against the liner and the only thing sealing it are these uh, these o-rings so it's important to get them in correctly and not to pinch them and it's pretty easy to be honest but you hear lots of horror stories So they And now I have to lubricate them. Yeah, so now I use a Dawn di dish detergent, believe it or not. It works really good. The last time I used lard, but uh, wow, this stuff, whoo-wee, it's slippery. 
um, <laughs> I cut my hand actually putting the first liner in it was so slippery it it didn't give me any notice and it slipped in and just pinched my thumb so So the number on the connecting rods goes beside the numbers on the crank bearings. So get this in nice and easy. up against the, the o-rings gently push it in that's the first o-ring second o-ring and that's all there is to it as slick as that <clears throat> push the piston down to meet the journal at the bottom. Gotta get it started as all. Well. I'm gonna put a protective studs to protect the journals, okay. You could use hose or anything, but I I use these right here. These little things. They came with my kit when I bought the the crank for my other engine and new rods. So it's getting there, guys. It's uh, <clears throat> it is getting there, boy. Torque these down to 45. <coughs>
nice and tight and free moving. Well, there you have it guys, that's the um, plastic gauge done. She's a uh, thousandth of an inch, which is uh, very tight, but I'll check the other journals now, make sure they're, they're not any tighter than that. So, Well, there you have it guys, that's the install of the liners into the engine. So, uh, next on the list is to put in the um, governor, check the backlash on that and then put the rear cover on and um, oil pan and then the head and we're almost there so again thanks a lot for watching guys and stay tuned for the next uh, video in this series and again uh, thanks a lot take care